Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Good evening guys. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing pretty good. This is Dr. Anas Ghazi Inaya and today inshallah we're going to be talking about how to solve true, false or not given question in reading module of the IELTS test. Okay, uh, can everyone hear me? Do you read everyone? Welcome Fatima, Ahmed, Asmat, Mustafa Al Mikhlif, uh, Ahmed. Okay, great. Okay, I guess you can hear me. Oh, that's great. Okay, so let's kick off and start um, reading and solving true, false, and not or not given question. Okay, we have a passage here, endless harvest, endless harvest. As we mentioned before, okay, please don't, okay, just keep your uh, video camera turned off. Mm, sorry, okay, thank you, Ahmad, just, okay. So the first and um, the most important tip, let me just, okay. Is to highlight the title of the passage and then move immediately to the true false or to the questions. And in our case here, we have true false or not given question, okay? And as we mentioned earlier, true, Okay, if the statement, when we choose true, we choose true when the statement is identical, exactly the same, okay, with what is stated in the passage. If the information, the statement here in the question is identical, 100% exact to what is stated in the passage, then the answer should be true, okay? What about false? Well, if the statement contradicts, okay, if it's 100% the opposite of what is stated in the passage, then the answer should be false, okay? If it's opposite, يعني بالعربي هيك عشان نكون واضحين إذا المعلومة متطابقة بتكون true إذا عكس المعلومة بتكون false تمام؟ Because there are a lot of students mixing between false and not given With that false and not given a lot of students mix, mixing between them, okay? Not given if there is no any information about the, okay, the, the statement in the message. If there is no way to know if, if, if either this statement true or false, then the answer would be not given, okay? So the difference between false and not given, especially false and not given, when false, the information contradicts with a statement, okay? Not given, there is no way to know what, what if the information true or, or, or false. There's nothing given about this information, okay? So, the first tip, as we said, we highlight the title. We don't uh, at first read the passage, okay? Because this is a waste of time. You are reading for no particular reason, you don't know what are you looking for? If you start reading the passage, you will read it again after you read the questions. So no, no need to read it first, okay? Just jump to the questions and highlight the keywords, then start reading, looking for the answers, okay? So, okay, let's highlight. Today we will do true, false, or not given question. We will start highlighting the keywords, okay? The inhabitants. Inhabitants means dwellers or the people who live in the place, okay, residents of Aleutian. Aleutian, it's in capital, so it's the name of a place, okay, islands. It's actually a name of islands, renamed their islands Alaska, okay. So the, the original people named their islands Alaska, okay. Two. Alaska's fisheries 
are owned by some of the world's largest companies. Okay, some of the world's largest companies. Three, life in Alaska is dependent on salmon. Life in Alaska is dependent on salmon. Four, 90%, 90% of all Pacific salmon caught are soki or pink salmon. So this is two types of salmon, two types of salmon. Five, more than 320,000 tons of salmon were caught. Okay, this is an important number and it's easy to find in the passage, okay? Of salmon were caught in Alaska in 2000. So we have a number and a year, okay? And a type, that's salmon. Six, between 1940 and 1959, oh yeah, salmon, okay. Between 1940 and 1959, there was a sharp decrease in Alaska salmon or salmon population, okay? So we have a period of time from 1940, yeah, the 40s and the 50s, okay? There was a sharp decrease in Alaska salmon population. Finally, the last point, during the 90, 90s, okay, the average number of, so he is asking about the average number of salmon caught each year was 100 million, 100 million, okay? Uh, the, the, the important notice about true false are not giving questions that they come at the same order in the passage, okay? So we are expected to find the answer for point number one, then or statement number one, then after that, Statement number two, after that, three, four, and so on at the same, at the same order. It is almost impossible to find the answer of four before three. So if you find the answer for point one, and then you find the answer between, of point three, and between them in the passage, there is no clue or no answer, or no information about point number two, then it would be not given. Okay, so now we will go to and start reading and we will take, okay, the first keywords in the first question because it's, it's what expected to find firstly, okay? So the inhabitants, the people who live on the, of the Aleutian Islands renamed, okay, they renamed their islands Alaska. Let's begin reading and find out the answer for this. Statement, more than 100 years ago, Russian explorers and fur hunters landed on the Aleutian, okay. Here's the first mention of this type of, of this islands, Aleutian Islands, okay. A volcanic archeology span in the North Pacific and learned of landmass that lay further to the north. Okay, so there is islands, Aleutian Islands, okay. They are a volcanic archaeology. What the meaning of archaeology? Or archipelago? In Arabic, what we call it? What's the archipelago or archaeology or something like this? Actually, we use the same. No, 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 not Athar. Athar is ruins or something like this, okay? We use actually the same word in Arabic. Almost the same, not, not Hamid. No, actually, not Hamid. Sukhur, rocks, mm, not rocks, Ayman. We use actually the same word, almost the same word. Have you ever heard uh, of the word Arkhabil, Al Arkhabil? Shuman Al Arkhabil. عمركم سمعتوا كلمة أرخبيل؟ أرخبيل اللي هو المجموعة مجموعة كبيرة من الجزر بسموها أرخبيل تمام؟ أيوة الجزر مظبوط تمام؟ فعندك مثلا إندونيسيا بسموها أرخبيل لأنها يعني عبارة عن دولة عبارة عن مجموعة كبيرة من الجزر. فهاي أليوشن عبارة عن مجموعة من الجزر يعني مثلا هاواي ممكن يسميها أرخبيل. هاي أليوشن مجموعة من الجزر موجودة في شمال المحيط الهادي تمام؟ كويس؟ فعندي I have Ark Archipelago, okay, in the North Pacific, and there's a, a land mass that lives further to the north, okay? So I have islands and I have land. 
the island's native inhabitants, okay, the people who live in the islands, called this land mass Aliska. So the people who live in the islands called the land mass Aliska, which means the great land. Today, we know it as Alaska. We know it as Alaska. So this is here we have read um, the information about naming the place Alaska or Alaska. The inhabitants of other of the Aleutian Islands renamed their islands Alaska. What do you think, guys? Is this a true statement or false statement or there is no information about this statement? Depending on what is stated in the passage. Fatima said not given. What do you think, guys? I even said false. Mustafa not given. Ahmed and Ahmed. Do you have an answer? Okay. So let's read it again and try to understand it, okay? The statement here says, the inhabitants of the islands, okay, of the Aleutian Islands, renamed their islands Aliska, okay? The island's native inhabitants called this landmass Aliska, the great land. Today, we know it as Alaska. So, the correct answer is, it is actually, as Ayman said, it's false. Because the inhabitants renamed not their islands, no. They renamed the mass land, the land mass, which is a great, uh, let me see, Piece or a great uh, area of land in the northern of the island, okay? They call it Aliska, not the, their lands. They, they didn't call their lands Aliska. Actually, this name is given to the, to the land mass, to the land mass. So the answer for uh, statement one should be false, should be false, because this information contradicts with, with what is stated in the passage. What is stated in the passage that the name of the landmass is Aliska, not the, the islands, not the islands. They call the rename the, the landmass, not the islands. Okay, so this is contradicts with what is stated in the passage. Uh, is that clear, guys? Fatima, Mustafa, and others? واضح ليش اخترنا فولس ما اخترنا نت جيفن؟ مصطفى سيد نو، اوكي مصطفى وات دو يو هاف؟ واتس ذا بروبليم؟ يو كان يو كان يوز ذا مايك مصطفى يو كان يوز ذا مايك تيرن اون يور مايك اف يو وونت اند يو كان سي وات از نوت كلير اباوت ستيتمنت 1 because rename, okay, so. Well, actually, no, Mustafa, here's the, it's not important that, the, that he should mention the exact same word, okay? He used a synonym, yeah? You see this word, cold. Cold is a synonym of rename, okay? Cold is the same meaning of rename. But they didn't call the islands, no, they called the mass land or the land mass. 
the great area of land. Okay, so renamed actually stated in the passage, but with other words, with a synonym, it's called. The word called, called means rename or name. Okay. Ah, this is, uh, F this is Fatima uh, comment. This is Fatima comment. It's called, it's called. Okay, called means renamed. Okay, clear? Or not yet? Got it, guys? Yes, Ayman, actually, it's, yeah, yeah, Ayman, actually, it's, it's the opposite. They didn't, they didn't call the line, the islands, they called the, the, the mass land or the land mass. Yes, of course, you have to look into tiny details. Okay, Mustafa, not rename. What do you mean by that, Mustafa? Ah, you mean, ah, ah, ah. You mean they, they, they renamed it, yeah. Rename means to change the name, change the name. Well, actually, it works, it works as name also, okay. Um, you can, you can say maybe if you are not sure, it's if you are not sure what's, what's, he didn't mention um, a, a, a previous name. Maybe apparently it has an, an ancient name, but he didn't call it, okay? Or he didn't, didn't mention it, okay? But, but, but the, the, the word Aliska, okay? The word Aliska. You see this word, Aliska? It's the name of what? Aliska is the name of what? هو مش اسم لا لا مش اسم الجزر تمام يعني المشكلة وين؟ المشكلة إنه في الفقرة واحد بيحكي لك هم أعادوا تسمية الجزر أليسكا تمام؟ حلو؟ القطعة بتحكي لك هم أعادوا تسمية الأرض اللي بعد الجزر مش الجزر تمام؟ فمحور الكلام مختلف كويس؟ وعندي كلمة أليسكا فمستحيل يكون اسم الجزر أليسكا لأنه أليسكا هو اسم الأرض اللي بعد الجزر اللي فوق اللي شمال الجزر اللي هي to the north further to the north شفت further to the north اوكي فبغض النظر شو كان اسم الاليوشن ايلاندز قبل او بعد ما بهمني تمام بهمني اليسكا اليسكا هو اسم ايش؟ هون بيحكي لك هو اسم الجزر هم اعادوا تسميه الجزر اليسكا حكي لك لا هم سموا الارض اللي بعد الجزر فالموضوع بغض النظر الجزر شو كان اسمها سابقا ولا حاليا ولا اخره انا الجزر كلها اسم اليسكا ما بينطبق على الجزر اسم اليسكا بينطبق على الارض اللي بعد الجزر، فانا متاكد انه الجزر هاي مستحيل يكون اسمها اليسكا، لانه الاليسكا هو اسم الارض اللي بعد الجزر، فقطعا هاي المعلومه راح تكون فولس، مش نوت جيفن. يعني المشكله انه مش انه هذا اسمها الاصلي ولا اعادوا تسميتها. ال 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 السؤال بيتكلم عن عن الجزر، تمام؟ والقطعة بتتكلم عن الأرض اللي بعد الجزر فهمت علي كيف؟ السؤال بيحكي إنهم عادوا تسمية الجزر أليسكا والقطعة بتحكي لك لا هم سموا الأرض اللي بعد الجزر سموها أليسكا فاسم أليسكا مش للجزر بغض النظر هم غيروا اسمها ما غيروش اسمها قديم اسمها جديد ما بهمني أنا بهمني إنه هذا التسمية كانت للأرض اللي بعد الجزر فأكيد هاي المعلومة وان راح تكون فولس وضحت؟ وضحت ولا ما وضحت؟ Is it clear, guys? واضح مصطفى. Is it clear, مصطفى? Okay. 
Okay, great. Okay, so let's continue. Let's jump into the question or statement number two. Alaska's fisheries are owned by some of by some of the world's largest companies. Okay, Alaska's fisheries. Fisheries. What are you mean fisheries? Fisheries. Fisheries means we can translate in Arabic by saying. حصاد الصيد يعني تمام كويس او نو نو نوت صيادين فيشرمن فيشرمن صيادين فيشرز اللي هي المحصول الصيد يعني تمام كويس محصول الصيد الاسكا فيشرز اوكي سو ليتس كونتينيو ريدينج اند تراي تو جيت ذا انسر اوكي The 49th state to join the United States of America in 1959, Alaska is fully one fifth of size of the mainland 48 states combined. Okay. It shares with Canada's second longest river system in North America and has over half coastline of the United States. The rivers feed into the Bering Sea and Gulf of Alaska, cold, nutrient rich waters, which support is of millions of seabirds and over 400 species of fish, shellfish, cross scans, and molluses. There is nothing about fisheries until now. Okay. Taking advantage of this rich bounty, what the meaning of bounty? What the meaning of bounty? Shumana bounty. Shumana kilmit bounty. Marat maakum shukalata isim ha bounty. La, ha, 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 باونتي مزبوط الشوكولاتة الشوكولاتة في شوكولاتة نوعها باونتي اللي هي باونتي معناها النعمة تمام النعمة يعني تمام فا of rich باونتي باونتي يعني النعم أو إلى آخره الغنية أو إلى آخره تمام Alaska's commercial fisheries okay we have the word here the key word fisheries okay have developed fisheries have developed into some of the largest in the world. So Alaska's commercial fisheries have developed into some of the largest in the world. This is the statement in the passage. What about the statement in the question? Alaska's fisheries are owned by some of the world's largest companies. What do you think? Fatima said true. Ayman? Mustafa said true. Ayman, what do you think? And Ahmed? Hmm? Ayman also said true. Okay, so let's read it again and try to understand it. The statement in the question, Alaska fisheries are owned, okay, by some of the world's largest companies. Okay, it's owned by companies. Hasad al-Sayyid hada, kwayas, mamluk la shirikat dakhmi. In the passage, Alaska's commercial fisheries, okay, Hasad al-Sayyid fi Alaska, have developed tatawar into some of the largest in, in the world. Liyusbih min a'zam al-hasad fi al-alam. So what do you think? Ayman said he changed his answer. Ayman changed his answer to not give it. Fatima and Mustafa. Fatima said false. Mustafa? Still thinking? Okay. So, um, let's begin with Fatima. Fatima, you said false. Mustafa said true. Okay. <laughs> so we have three different answers. Not given and false and true. Okay. So let's start with Fatima. You said false. Okay. Alaska's fisheries, commercial fisheries has developed into some of the largest of the world. 
And here in the question, Alaska's fisheries are owned by some of the world's largest companies. So if, it, if, 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 if this statement is false, so can you tell me or if there's anything of in the passage that tell you that the Alaska's fisheries are owned by whom? It could be false if the if the if the statement in the passage said that Alaska's fisheries are owned by small companies. Okay, this is the contradict of what stated. And Mustafa, you said true. Okay. Can you tell me, Mustafa, in the passage, where can you find in this line and half, where can you find the word company? Where you can find that this commercial fisheries are owned by any kind of company, large or small? Yeah, commercial means tijari. Tijari, not company. Yani Alaska commercial fisheries, yani hasad al-sayd al-tijari, yani kamiyat al-tijariya, tamam? يعني يتم الحصاد بكميات تجارية Companies, where's... Uh, there is no company in the passage Yeah, it's actually companies with I, okay So there is there is nothing about no 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 company does not mean commercial no 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 company means an a, a commercial institution okay a commercial institution we can call it company mam muassasa tijariya okay but tijari commercial we can we can describe any active including buying and selling by co commercial. It's not necessary to be a company, okay? If you buy and sell by your own, you are, you are practicing commercial, uh, commercial uh, business or something, okay? Yes, maybe, yeah, there are other, other synonyms, firm, corporation, enterprise, or institution, or others. But commercial, commercial does not mean company, okay? Commercial is a description for selling and buying things, okay? Tijari, tamam, okay? Anyone who is practicing any kind of selling and buying activity can be called a, a, a commercial activity. Okay, it's not necessary to be a company. And any one who buys or sells, we call it a commercial activity. Okay, does it mean that he is a company? No, it's not. A company is another thing. A company is a company that is registered in the government or in the Ministry of Finance or whatever. It's called a company. It's not a company. Commercial company. Commercial institution, or, for commercial firm or corporation, or the other, okay? So, do I have here that the fisheries, the hazard, this is belongs to companies? I don't give it. It belongs to companies, to the biggest companies, or to the smaller companies. What is the information I give? Okay? What is the largest in the world? That the hazard itself, the quantity itself, is the biggest on the scale of the world. Okay? So the amount of fisheries, the amount of fisheries is one of the largest in the world, okay? Not the company, there is no mention, there is no any mention for, of companies in this, in this line and half. ما في عندي أي mention لأي نوع من company. It could be false if he said that uh, this fisheries is, or the companies that own this fisheries as medium-sized or small companies, or they are not uh, one of the largest in the world. But there is no mention about who own this commercial fisheries. Which companies own this commercial fisheries? Uh, what is the size of these companies? Is they are large or small, or there's not any clue about that. So uh, the, the correct answer or the most appropriate Answer for statement two is not given. Okay. Wadah. It's obvious for you, for you, for everyone. Mustafa, Fatima. Tamam. Mumtaz. 
تمام مصطفى Let's continue to statement three. Let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Life in Alaska is dependent on salmon. Life in Alaska is dependent on salmon. Or salmon. Okay. Let's continue from paragraph three. According to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, Alaska's commercial fisheries landed hundreds of thousands of tons of selfish and herring. These are types of fish, okay? And well over a million tons of ground fish, cold, sole, perch, and uh, bullock. In 2000, the true cultural, okay, the true cultural heart and soul of Alaska's fisheries, however, is salmon, okay? Salmon notes, Writer Susan Ewing in the Great Alaska Nature Factbook, okay, bump through Alaska like blood through heart, bringing rhythmic or rhythmic circulating nourishment to land, animals, and people, okay, the predictable. Abundance of salmon allowed some native cultures to flourish and dying spawners feed bees, eagles, other animals, and ultimately the soil itself. All five species of Pacific salmon Chinook, King, Chum, Dog, Coho, Silver, Scoyote, or Red, and Pink. Etc. Okay, so what do you think? Is it actually the life in Alaska is dependent on salmon? Fatima said true. Mustafa and Ayman? What do you think, guys? Does the life in Alaska dependent on salmon? Any answer? No answer? Well, actually, yes, it's true. It's the true, yes, thank you, cultural heart and soul of Alaska's fisheries. Yeah? Uh, the people, it's, it, it bump through Alaska like blood through heart, bringing rhythmic circulating nourishment to land, animals and people. So the life, yeah, the life of animals and people in Alaska uh, may, uh, depends majorly or generally or mostly on salmon. On salmon, yeah. Ayman, yes, that's correct. It's true. Thank you, Ayman. Thank you, Fatima. Yeah. The answer for point four is for point sorry three is true. Point four. 90% of all Pacific salmon coat are sucary or pink salmon. So we are looking for this percentage, 90%. We will look for this percentage. It's much, when you have a percentage, a number, a year, a date, it's much easier to find it by just a, 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 a speed or a quick a glance, okay? All five species of five salmon, chino, king, chum, dog, coho, or silver, Soaky or red and pink or humpback spawns in Alaskan waters and 90%. Okay, here is the key percentage 90% of all Pacific salmon, of all Pacific salmon commercially caught in North America are produced there. So 90% of all Pacific salmon caught are 
Sukhoi Suki or pink salmon? Fatima said false, Mustafa said not given. Ayman? Ayman said not given. Actually, the correct answer is not given. Why it's not false? Can you tell me, Fatima, how much is the percentage of soki or pink salmon? هو بيحكي لك انه 90% من السلمون سوكي او بينك سالمون عشان تكون الجمله هاي غلط معناته انا عارف كم النسبه والنسبه هاي مش 90% هاي نسبه 80 85 60 20 الى اخره تمام بس هو ما ما حكى لي ما حكى لي تمام ما قال لي لا لا ما حكاش لكل الانواع الاخرى حكى 90 of all pacific salmon commercially caught in north america are produced there ما حكى لك انه 90% للانواع الاخرى، هو بيحكي لك 90% يعني هاي معلومه هون بيعطيك معلومه جديده. بيحكي لك 90% من المحصول السمكي اللي بصدوه السلمون اللي بصدوه هناك بينتجوه في نفس شو معنى بينتجوه يعني بيعالجوه بيعلبوه الى اخره يعني تمام؟ في 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 الاسكا نفسها. كويس؟ يعني ممكن مثلا 10% اللي ضايله مثلا ممكن تتعالج في في مكان ثاني تمام؟ ممكن تتعالج في في الجهة الأخرى من المحيط مثلا في اليابان أو بلد ثاني تمام بس هو ما تكلم ما كان يتكلم عن تفصيل كم كم نسبة ال كم نسبة الأنواع كيف ممكن هذا السؤال يكون فولس؟ هذا السؤال ممكن يكون فولس إذا أعطاني كم نسبة السوكي والبينك سالمون تمام لنفرض حكى لي السوكي 45% والبينك سالمون 45% معناته اثنين مع بعض 90% معناته بكون الجواب ترو تمام أو حكى لي السوكي مثلا 70% والسال بينك سالمون مثلا 10% فبكون اثنين مع بعض 80% ف 90% بكون الجواب فولس بس انا بكون عارف كم البرسنتج تبعت السوكي والبينك سالمون ما دام انا مش عارف البرسنتج كويس وما في ما في اي معلومه بتحكي لي كم البرسنتج فور افري تايب افري سبيسيفيك سبيشيز اوف سالمون ما ما اعطاني حكى لك انه هم بيصيدوا هاي الانواع السالمون عباره عن خمس انواع هي حكى لك اياها وكل نوع له اسمين تمام سوكي اند سوكي اند بينك سالمون اكشلي زت لا نوعين مختلفات تمام ما اعطاني كم نسبه كل نوع فذا كوركت انسر از نوت جيفن الاجابه الصح راح تكون نوت جيفن وضحت ولا لسه؟ تمام طيب ممتاز اوكي سو ليتس كونتينيو تو بوينت نمبر 5 More than 320,000 tons of salmon were caught in Alaska in 2000. So I, he, I have a number tons, okay, and I have a year, okay? And this make it much easier for me to find the key numbers, okay? These two key numbers in the passage, indeed. So let's continue, indeed. If Alaska was an independent nation, an independent nation, if it was a country or a country, it would be the largest producer of wild salmon. No, no, this, this, this word is not die. This word is, should be the. It would be the. Maybe it's a um, typo, typo error. Okay. It would be the largest producer of wild salmon in the world. Okay. During 2000, okay, this is the key date, the key, sorry, the key year in 2000, okay. Commercial catches of Pacific salmon in Alaska exceeded, exceeded, it's more than 320,000 tons with an explicit value of over US 26, uh, 260 million US dollars. So the answer for point five should be, Mustafa said true. فاطمة أيمن
What do you think? True, Ayman, Fatima. True, thank you, yes. It's, it's actually, it's easy one. More than, more than is a synonym for the word exceeded. 320,000, okay. Tons, this is the same number, the same exact number of Solomon are caught in Alaska. Yes, the catches, the catches is the word that means caught in, in, in Alaska in the same year. Yes, the same year during 2000 and 2000. So the answer for point five is true. That's correct. Okay, let's move on to point six. Between 1940 and 1959, there was a sharp decrease. There was a sharp decrease in Alaska salmon population. So we are looking for these period of time, okay? So let's continue reading. Catches have not always been so healthy. Between, okay, 1940 and 1959, this is the period that I am looking for. Overfishing led to crashes in salmon populations so severe that in 1953, Alaska was declared a federal disaster area. So was there a decrease or a sharp decrease in uh, salmon population in this uh, specific period of time, 1940 to 1959? Okay, Mustafa and Fatima said true, true. Ayman. True, yes, it's true, actually, yes. It's 100% identical um, information in the passage and in the statement and the question, the same period of time, the same uh, descri description, sharp decrease, and the same type of, um, of fishery salmon. Okay, so the answer, the answer is true. Okay, point number seven. During the 1990s, okay, the average number of salmon caught each year was 100 million. So the average number in the 19s was 100 million. So we are looking for this specific period of time, this decade, the 19s. Um, with the onset of statehood, however, the state of Alaska took over management of its own fisheries, okay, guided by a state constitution, which mandates that Alaska natural resources be managed on a sustainable basis. Nothing about the 19s. At that time, statewide harvests totaled around 25 million salmon. Over the next few decades, average catch is steadily increased as a result of this policy of sustainable management until during the 90s. Okay, during the 90s, here are the our here is the, the key word, the key number, the key period of time. Okay, annual harvests were well in excesses, okay, or excess of 100 million, and on several occasions, over 200 million fish. During the 1990s, the average number of salmon Quote, each year was 100 million. Was it 100 million? Fatima Mustafa Ayman said false. No, it's not 100 million. Why? Why is it false? Excess of, thank you, Mustafa. Yeah, more than, thank you, Fatima. Yes, it's actually more than, more than 100 million. It's not 100 million, no, it's excess. Yes, thank you, thank you, Ayman. It's excess, which means more than, which means more than, yes. So uh, this is how we do the true, false, not give me question. You should be careful to the every tiny detail in the statement and to be to to notice the exact the, the same exact meaning in the passage and to be sure that is the 
this word means the same word in the passage or not and if the information is stated there or not okay المشكلة هذا سهل في الاختبار يجي أصعب لا والله هذا مش سهل يا أيمن هذا ما هو سهل يعني بدك تكون شوي دقيق يعني فيه تمام وفي الاختبار ما تحطش في بالك إنه دائما بيجي في الاختبار صعب هو في الاختبار يعني ما بيجي صعب بقدر ما إنه اللي بيخلي الأمور صعبة مش الأسئلة بحد ذاتها بقدر ما إنه الضغط الضغط في الاختبار الضغط النفسي أنت بيكون عندك إنه هذا هو الاختبار الفعلي يكون عندك وقت محدود بدك تخلص فيه الامتحان فبتكون مضغوط مش زي انت بتحل براحتك في ال... وانت بتتمرن تمام كويس بس بي... انا انا بحكي لك انا قدمت الامتحان اربع خمس مرات يعني تقريبا الاسئله انا بحكي لك هذا مش سهل هذا صعب عموما يعني تمام في الاسئله عاده بكون بكون سته او سبعه اسئله ترو فولز بكون منهم اربع خمسه واضحين واثنين بتعبوك تمام اثنين بدك شوي تقراهم اكثر من مره عشان بالضبط تفهم ال... تفهم الجواب فولس ولا بالذات فولس ونوت جيفن عاده يعني تكون الموست كونفيوزنج كويستشنز اور اوبشنز فولس اور نوت جيفن تمام بس uh, هذا الامتحان مش 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 uh, مش سهل تمام لا هذا الامتحان الى حد ما يصنف الى حد ما ممكن نحكي انه انه الى حد ما صعب مع انه في ممكن ثلاث او اربع نقاط كانت سهلة أو واضحة بس هيك عادة في الامتحان العادي تمام؟ فكمان مرة أول شيء أنا ما بدي أحل أي قطعة بعلم على العنوان بقرأ الأسئلة برجع بقرأ القطعة أسئلة ترو فولس أو نات جيفن تيجي بنفس الترتيب فباخذهم واحد واحد وبقرأ واحد واحد تمام باخذ السؤال الأول وبدور عليه في القطعة بعدين يعني باخذ السؤال الثاني وبدور عليه بعد ما السؤال بعد القطعة اللي أخذت أو السطر اللي أخذت منه السؤال الأول تمام؟ في نقطة كمان مفيدة مثلا إذا أنتم بتقدموا الامتحان الورقي كويس اذا انتم بتقدموا الامتحان الورقي لما تقرا لما توقف عند نقطه او عند مكان او عند جمله تمام حط شحطه او حط خط او حط اكس او حط اي علامه بحيث انه لما تروح تقرا الاسئله وبدك ترجع تكمل قراءه في القطعه ما تدور وين انت وقفت فمثلا لنفرض انا وقفت هون عند 1959 تمام بحط شحطه مثلا كويس بقلم الرصاص فلما اروح اقرا الاسئله قريت السؤال بدي ارجع أخ... مثلا نفرض حليته او بدي ارجع اتاكد او الى اخره بدي ارجع اعرف انا وين وقفت انا وقفت هون ما مش مش فاضي انا في الامتحان في الامتحان كل يعني بدك تحاول تستغل كل ثانيه فباجي هون مثلا بحاول انه آه بعرف مثلا من العلامه اللي انا حطيتها انه انا وقفت هون فبكمل من عند هاي النقطه هاي برضه تب كويس بفيدك في في الامتحان اللي بالذات داخل الامتحان البيبر بيست الكمبيوترايز الكمبيوترايز شوي بيختلف الكمبيوترايز لازم تتعلم انت على الكلمه مثلا تعلم هيك وبعدين بتضغط رايت كليك لما تضغط رايت كليك بيطلع لك خيارين بيطلع لك هايلايت او نوت فممكن تختار الهايلايت اذا انت سريع وشاطر على الكمبيوتر ممكن هاي يعني خلينا نحكي الميزه تفيدك تمام اذا انت مش شاطر على الكمبيوتر لا روح اعمل البيبر بيست تمام كويس طيب نعمل امتحان امتحان مش صعب الى حد ما سهل كويس وسريع بس هذا الامتحان مطلوب منكم انتم تحلوه تمام راح اعطيكم يعني قطعه قصيره راح اعطيكم خمس دقائق او سبع دقائق تحاولوا انتم تحلوها وتعطوني الجواب تمام خلينا نروح بس نختار الامتحان هاي عندي امتحان عندي باسج من خليني بس اشيل اي علامات موجوده عليها اوكي تمام خليني بس اصغر الحجم شوي عشان يكون واضح للكل ممتاز تمام عندي قطعه اسمها The polar bear, the polar bear, the dub, the قطب, تمام. وهاي عندي ال 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 passage, كويس. وعندي four four questions. ما بعرف ال ال 
النص واضح الباسج واضحة واضح الخط ولا نكبره شوي صغيرة واضح الخط ولا نكبره شيء بسيط اوكي اظن معناته واضح طيب نعطيكم كم خمس دقائق سبع دقائق يعني عباره عن قطعه صغيره وفي عليها اربع اسئله خمس يلا خمس دقائق معكم خمس دقائق حاولوا جاوبوا لي الاربع اسئله كويس وبعد ما تخلصوا بناخذ اجاباتكم وبنتناقش حولها اوكي فاطمة and مصطفى and أيمن if you write them in one line it would be much better أيمن okay false true true and the last one أيمن False, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, and false, true, true, false. So it seems there's a consensus on, on your answers. Okay, في إجماع على الإجابات تبعتكم. Uh, الأولى false, ثاني true, ثالث true, والرابعة false. Well, um, each one of you get three out of four. ثلاثة من أربعة. في عندكم إجابة غلط. عادة عادة في الامتحان هي يمكن قاعدة ما بعرف هل هي مية بالمية منطبقة ولا لا إنه عادة في الامتحان في true في false وفي not given على كل إن خلونا نشوف إجاباتكم يعني ما أخذت دقيقتين طيب كويس نشوف مع بعض أول جملة the polar bear lives in the south pole ثانية there is no land in the south pole ثالثة the polar bear can stand up on its back legs والرابعة the polar bear cannot swim نبدأ من الأولى the polar bear is very big white bear we call it the polar bear because it lives inside the arctic circle near the north بول بول طيب there are no polar bears at the south بول so the answer for point now should be false because yeah because it contradicts with with the information here okay يعني هي عكس المعلومة هون معلومة بحكي لك no polar bears هون بحكي لك there are polar polar bears so it contradicts totally contradicts 100% it's the exact opposite okay but لنفرض لنفرض إنه هاي الجملة مش مذكورة there are no polar bears at the south pole هاي الجملة مش مذكورة فشو بكون جواب النقطة واحد لو فرضنا انه هاي الجملة there are no polar bears at the south pole 
راح تكون نت جيفن مظبوط لانه احنا ما حكينا هو بيتكلم عن نورث بول ما حكينا شيء على الساوث بول فراح تكون الجواب نت جيفن بس بما انه هو بيحكي لي ذير ار نو سو اتس ذا كونتراديكتس اتس ذا اتس ا كونتراديكشن تو وات از ذا طيب نروح على بوينت نمبر 2 ذير از نو لاند ان ذا ساوث بول اوكي نشوف the polar bear lives in the snow and ice at the north pole okay there is only snow ice and water there is not any land this is for the what's the south the north okay there is no or not any land in north pole what about the south pole people cannot see the polar bear in the snow very well because its coat is yellow white It has a very warm coat because the weather is cold north of the Arctic Circle. So, what about point number two? Is it true? As you said, Fatima said not given. Ayma said not given. Mustafa said not given. Yeah, it's not given. Okay, he is not talking about. He is not talking about. The South Pole. He's talking about the North Pole. Yeah, North. قطب الشمالي. تمام. قطب الشمالي ما في لاند. قطب الشمالي عبارة عن محيط متجمد. طب. What about the South Pole? Well, he didn't mention anything about the South Pole. There is nothing stated about the South Pole in the passage. ما في أي معلومة عن South Pole إنه هو if there is land or not. ما في. تمام. So uh, in 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 fact, in fact, there is a little. Uh, uh, mistake in this in the construction of this type of question actually this this question should be yes no not given not true false not given because if, if we look to the question do the following statement agree with the views of the writer views of the writer okay When it comes to the views of the writer, the options would be yes, no, not given. If it's talking about information, okay, the answers should be true, false, not given. And here's yeah, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's it's information, facts, true, false, not given. But views of the writer should be true, false, not given, because actually. This statement, there is no land in the South Pole, okay? Uh, in terms of facts, it's false. Okay? يعني إذا إحنا بدنا نطبق عليها إنه هل هي حقيقة ولا لا هي 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 بالنسبة للمعلومات العلمية الجغرافية, there is no land in the South Pole, okay? ما فيش أرض في القطب الجنوبي لا خطأ في قارة كاملة عندي اسمها القارة المتجمدة الجنوبية. عباره عن عن قاره يابسه كامله تمام مساحتها حوالي 10 14 مليون كيلو متر مربع ف in terms of facts this sentence should be false but okay according to the views of the writer according to the views of the writer there is nothing mentioned in the passage about if there is a land or not in the south pole so this sentence should be not given okay and the The question as whole should be yes, no, not given, not true, false, not given. And this is a, a very important notice. Uh, be careful that the, the question is asking for true, false, not given, or yes, no, not given, especially who are going for the paper based test. Okay, the right, the paper based test, you have to be careful that 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 you have to be لانك لو كان طالب منك ترو فورس وكتبت يس نو يور انسر ويل بي كاونت از رونج انسر سو بي كيرفول اوكي بي كيرفول كيرفول اوكي في الكمبيوترايزد او الكمبيوتر ديليفر تيست لا انت اصلا الكلام الاختيارات بتكون انت زي ما بنعمل هون احنا بنضغط على سهم وبنختار ترو فورس او نوت جيفن او يس نو نوت نوت جيفن انت ما بتكتب ما بتكتب الخيار بايدك تمام كويس واضحه النقطه فعندي السؤال الثاني there is no land in the south pole it's not giving according to the views of the writer in this message السؤال الثالث جواب تو صح the polar bear can stand up on its back legs 
it's mentioned here, okay. Uh, it can stand up on its back legs because it has very wide feet. So it's stated uh, uh, identically to what is, what is mentioned in the question. The polar bear can stand up on its back legs. Yes, the answer here should be true. And finally, the polar bear cannot swim, actually. It can use its front legs. Okay, the polar bear can swim very well. The polar bear can swim very well. So the information contradicts, or the writer views contradicts with what is stated in the question. So the answer should be false. Okay, guys. So this is how we do true, false, not given questions. Okay, and that's all for tonight. Thank you everyone for coming and participating. If you have any question, comment, please write it down in the chat box. And you are so welcome and I hope this lecture was useful for you. Fatima, uh, Mustafa, you are you are so welcome. Don't mention it. Inshallah, واضح بالنسبة لل true false not given. ممتاز. في أي سؤال أي ملاحظة أي recommendation. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great evening. See you next time, folks. You are welcome, Ayman. No problem. See you, inshallah. Take care. Bye bye, everyone. This is Anas Ghazi. Bye bye for you. Okay, see you, inshallah. Ma'asalam.